guys, in this video, I'm actually going to be sharing with you guys how I use Airtable to schedule out my content, whether I'm working, you know, doing this all on my own or if I'm actually working with a social media manager. This makes, you know, communication if you're working with a social media manager so much easier where you can kind of see things you guys could kind of uh, go back and forth with sharing notes and edits and all that good stuff. So this is pretty much how I set my content calendar up, right? My first column always would be my social posts, which is the content and then the platform. So my main platforms is Facebook and Instagram. So in the first column, I would put my copy, whatever, you know, um, the, the actual content of the post that will always go in the first um, in the first field. Right. And if you want to open it up, you get to see everything about that post. So this would pretty much be just the content. Then here it shows the platform, right? Then it shows what it is, the category. So if it's a quote, if it's a engaging post, if it's a promotional post, you'll see that there. Then here would be the actual asset or the photo or video or whatever that is. Then here would be the date and the time. And if I do have a call to action, I will put that here. So that would be the link to, if it's an opt-in, the link to the opt-in. If it's I'm sending them to a blog post, the link to the blog post. Um, and then here would be all of my hashtags, right, that I'm using. Then here would be the notes and the edits for if I'm having any kind of communications with the social media manager. Maybe I'll say, um, let's switch out the photo. Maybe I'll say, um, research three more hashtags or something like that. All that information would go here. And then these are checks for if I approve. Well, so if they go and get, let's say three hashtags, right? And they put the hashtags in and I'm like, oh, okay, yes, that, that resonates with my business, with my brand. Um, everything else looks good. The scheduling, all that, the asset, the picture, the photo looks good. So then I would put a check in there, um, meaning it's approved that they can go on and schedule it out. And then they will put the check if they scheduled it in later and if they scheduled it in Tailwind, which lets me know it's complete. Um, that's if you're opening up the entire post. If you're keeping it in the table form where you see all of the posts, you just will kind of look across the board this way, right? So again, this would be the copy. Same thing I just went over. But now we're just going um, in a horizontal way. So this would be the platform, which is here, Instagram and Facebook. Here would be the category that it falls under. So this would be a quote and the attachment would be the photo, which is here, the asset. And this would be the schedule, which is the date and the time. That is important to go in there so they can know when to actually schedule it. So here, if there was a link, I will put the exact link to whatever that call to action is. Here would be all of the hashtags that we will be using for this post. Here again, like I said, it would be notes. So if you can see down here, when we were communicating, it said, hey, let's switch this photo because it doesn't resonate with the copy. So we must have switched it because this one kind of matches. <laughs> um, so then after that, you would go down to the approval box. And again, if I approve it, everything looks fine. I'll put the check in there. Then once they see the check, they will schedule it in later. Then once they finish, they'll put the check and they'll schedule it in Tailwind. And again, once they finish, they'll put the check. So once I see all the checks for later in Tailwind, it lets me know that, hey, it's scheduled, it's good to go, and that it's complete, right? Um, now, if I'm going on uh, more platforms, I still would keep this same exact table. I just would open up another um, open up another graph. So down here, this platform is only for Pinterest, right? So all of this is this is for Pinterest, and this is the copy, meaning the the what I'm saying in the post. So again, the platform is Pinterest. Um, all of them are opt um, opt ins, like call to action. So it's not like a blog or it's not I don't have those categories what you may have but I don't because all mine are the same so here I will put all the pins for the entire um that entire time so there were all of my pins normally I, I have anywhere between 10 to 15 um, pins right and then here would be the date and the time both both of these areas then here would be the call to action, whatever I'm sending them to. Like I said, if I'm sending them to watch my YouTube, if I'm sending them to an opt-in or uh, maybe one of my blog posts, it would go there. Then here, uh, if, I'm, if I do decide to use any hashtags, this is where that would be. Again, any kind of communication that we have and approval boxes for me. 
and um, scheduling and tailwind would be for them. So this is pretty much how I kind of keep track of my content and lets me just see all of it at one time. And then I'm able to see the check if it's already scheduled out. Now, the reason I like it is because I can keep all of my content in here and it's not, the thing about spreadsheets with me is so small. It's like, it get drive me nuts because it looks like it's overwhelming. This is a little more open. It's a little more colorful. I get inspired by colors. So I love Airtable and this is what I'm using as of now. Um, and I hope this is able to help you to some degree in showing you how you can use it as well and really just keep your stuff streamlined. You can see everything right here, no matter what kind of content it is, because you should have a mixture. And Again, I hope this helped you to some degree. Let me know if it did. If there's anything else um, you would like to see, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks, guys.